Wow, I can't do intros for videos. I don't know if you know that about me. I'm terrible at them. But RSI, Robert Space Industries, um, just announced a freaking or Cloud Imperium Games. I call I call them Robert Space Industries, but it is Cloud Imperium Games. Anyway, just announced the coolest ship that I've seen in about enter amount of time here i don't know like i feel like every ship they keep bringing out i'm just like uh this is a mining ship from rsi uh it's a large one the largest one we've got we will have in game when it releases it's not out yet and it's not i don't know when it's due to be out i really have no idea but it blew my mind so i thought i'd just re-watch the video with you guys breaking it down, I teased this a little bit a couple of days ago at the expo hall. I'm excited. This is great. This is genuinely going to blow your freaking minds if you've not seen it yet. Right. Small Ollie. Here we go. I'm just going to make me a bit. Ah, oh, there we go. Lovely. Nice. Right. This is going to blow your minds. Blue mine. But I hear you. So let's move things forward and discuss the new concept vehicle that's making its debut concept. this Saturday. It's not the out RSI yet. RSI Arastra. Arastra. It's kind of a mouthful. Last year for Citizen Con, we did a vote to decide what vehicle you wanted to see next. And there were the mining ones, ship. The mining ship. So what we ended up doing is the large RSI mining ship, which has turned out to be the RSI Arastra. What is Arastra? Absolutely no idea. A <laughs> primitive mill that's used in. in Grinding ores, I think. <laughs> the name Arastra derives from the ancient uh, mining tool and technique. So in Star Citizen, we have a I love it. I'm just going to pause it. I'm going to try and not pause it too much because people yell at Mike for pausing too much. So I, apparently pausing annoys everyone on the internet for some reason. I don't know. Um, also, hashtag let Mike pause. Anyway, um, love that. I wanted to pause it to say something really important, but it really wasn't that important. I'm sorry. We've got the Prospector, which is kind of like your starter hour. The Mole is that kind of first multi crew ship. And mole. It allows you to go out with a few friends I'll and go. kind of try and work a profit together. And then the top of the scale, we've got the Orion. That's okay. The kind of end. Just for pool. For... Just for full transparency. Wow. Don't know why I struggle with that. The Orion is something that's in my fleet. I currently have an Orion. If you don't know, it's a massive, um, like capital size mining ship, and it's like end game. And it's got kind of like these things at the front here. I don't, you can't even see. Hang on. I need to do some. So, yeah, you see here, I've got some munching action going on, which is really cool. It's a big ship, it's like massive org. Stuff. The top of the scale, we've got the Orion. This That's is actually the kind a better spot for end me, game know. of mining. And we saw this gap between the two. So the RSI Arastra is the ship that fills that gap. I just want to say it from this perspective. So this is the Arastra. It's your first look at it. Love the LEDs and like the silhouette of the ship from this perspective. Looks lovely. Absolutely. Chef kiss. Also, sorry. Interesting, the bridge is quite high up on it. Obviously, like, I feel like the bigger the ship, the further up and further back the bridge gets, you know? Like, 890 jump, it's, like, right at the back. <laughs> and, you know, small ships, you're right at the front. Makes sense. So the Arastra kind of combines the core visual elements that we've oh. kind of developed. Look at this. I'm sorry, I know you're yelling at me for pausing, but look at this thing! It's our first look at it. I love the colour scheme, by the way, the white and black. Um, kind of not 100% white white, it's kind of like a... I want to say skull white? It's probably the wrong way to describe it. Someone should ask me why that came to mind. Chalk white, I'll call it, which is a lot more fitting. And you've got this kind of like, off black. It looks really nice. Um, I'm interested in this middle section. It's really quite something. Over the years of RSI, it I'll still has that definite triangular arrowhead shape to it. So it still feels at home within the RSI family. One of the things we struggled with a little bit at the beginning when concepting it was we didn't want it to feel... 
sorry, but I just love these angles. They, it kind of reminds me of the Galaxy a lot. And obviously, RSI are kind of developing their design language even more now. Um, but I absolutely love these kind of subtle sort of lines and indentations and kind of gaps as well. I feel like that is really something. And like I said, these LEDs look clean. Clean! Looks really nice. I'm a huge fan of the design of this ship. I don't know who concepted this, who drew the initial designs, or who how, how this came about. I don't know who did it, but honestly, love it where it is now. It looks fantastic. It kind of bridges the gap between kind of... It looks fast, but it also looks like an industrial ship. And I don't know how they quite did that. Too sleek. It really needs to feel like it had a functional purpose. And that really led us down exposing a lot more of the, the industrial elements. We've built on the idea of, of um, RSI layering in their ships to kind of really expose the core framework of the ship down the central kind of columns. It also has a much more comfortable habitation for the crew to live on. It's got plenty of utility on board for day-to-day -day life as well as a place to actually this, by the way, is absolutely just crazy. Like, this interior, obviously you've got bunk beds and stuff, that's cool. So, I don't know how many how many crew you're going to need to facilitate this ship, but board for it's going to be a lot. Life, as well as a place to actually... And this looks so cool, uh, this bunker down here. <laughs> so good, it looks like it can fit so much in it. It just... Love it. Mining, mining vehicles. Land additional vehicles in the back. Look at that space, like, look at this. That's crazy. I'm all for this design language as well. Kind of these kind of triangular pillars. It's like, they've continued it throughout. Obviously, no, it's like no right angles. It's all like 45 degrees, and I kind of, I'm into it. Has it. everything you need to spend. Like, even here, look, no right angles. A, a, a large amount of time away from dock, away from station. It's got an onboard refinery. It's got a... Onboard refinery is huge for gameplay. Love that. This looks like, I'll be honest, it looks pretty. It's a concept model, but I think they smashed it. This looks great. Large, large amount of ore storage as well as onboard cargo. It's a kind of big, serious mining ship. Oh, look at this. I want to see this. I know there's people out there who've got files of this thing who are going to put it on the web for us to compare it and stuff. Um, <laughs> I am so jealous. I tried using Blender to look at ships, and it is so complicated. Yeah, and it allows for... I got there. I managed to make a really cool picture of a Kraken, but it was a headache. A crew of up to five to kind of go out and this, I think this is the only good look at it, so I'm going to have to pause. I wanted to stop pausing, but this um, section here, really, 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 um, I love. It's like a balcony, and I think that is going to look amazing when you're out in space, mining. That is going to look cool. You mark my words, screenshots will be had here and really kind of step into that professional level mining outfit without requiring you know, a big capital ship. We have multiple stations for different people to actually mine at the same time as each other. They're all sat together in a very RSI-like bridge section. The remote turrets that are on the Astra all uh, have some level of transformation in, in terms of their location. The two at the front can slide backwards and forwards along, so you don't require the pilot to have to go left a bit, go right a bit. But then we also have a large one in was that the turrets, like these turrets? Is that what John's talking about? Or was it the turrets for the um, mining module, like lasers? Or is it all of it? I imagine it's for these turrets, I'm assuming. I don't know. Transformation in, in terms of their location. The two at the front can slide backwards and forwards along, so you don't... Okay, so maybe require the pilot to have to go left a bit, go right a bit. But then we also have a large one in the center, which can descend through the middle of the ships. Can actually transform down through the ship and out the bottom to cover the underside. So really you can mine in through. That looked which amazing. Can descend through the middle that was a of the really ships. cool moment there. Transform down through the ship and out the bottom to cover the. Oh, I missed it again. Slowly. Descend through the middle of the There's ships. There's only like one or two frames. Down through the ship and out the bottom to cover <laughs> the. Oh my! <laughs> Damn it, John! 
<laughs> I'm gonna try one more time. Through the middle of the ship can actually transform down through the ship and out the bottom to cover. But Damn it! I love John's face, but no! Which can descend through the middle of the ships. Can actually transform down through the ship and out the bottom to cover. Oh, I got it. Look at this. This looks so cool. I absolutely love how this uh, has come about. Am I peeking here? No. We're good. Um, I absolutely love how this, like, will work. Obviously, you've got multiple levels, and the laser will kind of come down through the ship that is gonna look awesome it's also gonna like stop the claustrophobic feeling of these corridors a little bit because you've got so many windows and stuff that, like that's really gonna help with that cover the underside so really you can hey, mine John. in 360 degrees with this ship and as it cuts through the ship you can actually see the turret as it travels from one side to the other. And then additional crew members can help either position the ship if they want to change location or deal with the mind good. I love this balcony perspective. Reminds me of the Valkyrie and I am absolutely in favor of being able to see stuff from high places. It's at the rear of the ship in the cargo bay. But the ship can also hold ground mining vehicles. If you are planet side, some of those crew members could take mining vehicles that you've stored aboard out and do some surface mining. Look at the size of this thing. Sorry, John, to interrupt you again, but look at this guy. <laughs> look at the size of the ship. It's absolutely, it's hard to get perspective right when you're looking at a spaceship in space. There's, n there's no banana for reference, but look at this banana. Some person, but whatever. But like, look. This thing is huge. Mining whilst the ship hangs around nearby to tackle some ground mining rocks. So this ship is really perfectly placed for people who want to go mining, but don't quite know what they're gonna encounter along the way. They are equipped to tackle anything on the surface, anything on space. One I just gotta say, if you haven't already, please get in the comment section and let me know what you think of this ship. For me, just, so you know up front, insta purchase. I'm purchasing it the second it goes live. Because I know they're working on RSI ships. Um, I don't know if they've said when this is gonna come out. I know they don't do whens, but hopefully they stay on the RSI train and just do this one, and then you can do other stuff. Please, please do this one soon. One of the benefits of concept in the Arastra now is that we know a lot more about our game, a lot more about how mining works and kind of features in the game. Mm. That gives us a much better understanding of what's important for a mining ship. And that's one of the things that we'll take on to when we kind of deliver the Orion in the future. So this is great. <laughs> for like, for comparison, look at these bananas, so. Um, like this thing is massive. It's ridiculous. Also, why is he stood there? For example I guess. of how uh, development on some ships improves and expedites others. Compared to the Orion, this bridges the gap in a few nice ways. It leverages all the existing mining loops and mechanics that we have in game at the moment, whereas the Orion is going to be solely mining in space. It Hello, I've just noticed they've... <laughs> that's not munching, that's cannons. What? Is this just like a giant cannon version? Yeah, I'll be down for that. No landing. It is a big ship designed for sitting out in deep space, mining big asteroids. It won't be capable of going down to planet size and mining on there. What we kind of learned from the Orion is that a lot of our RSI ships feel very, very aggressive. They feel very military and fast. And if you think of like a big industrial mining ship, the Orion is kind of the opposite to that. It's this huge kind of bulky ship that is very purpose built. And what we want to do with the Arastra is take the lessons that we, we'd learned from that and combine that with some of the more modern RSI art styles and manufacturing techniques. The Arastra is the sort of all-in-one. Oh, look at that for a picture. Oof. Oof. Love these engines. <laughs> oh, I want to, I want to. On mining ship, you've started hand mining at the very start. You've progressed to, say, a rock is the next step, then a prospector, then a mole. This is the, the big uh, step that lets you do a bit of everything. You can mine, you can refine, you can transport. And then if you want to go even deeper into that, then you go off to the Orion at the end. <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel. For those of you that actually have Orions in your hangout, which I don't know if, a lot, if, if that's a lot of you, it's a very 
it's not actually that expensive in comparison to some stuff, but it's a big ship, right? Um, I'd be very curious to know how you guys feel about them putting another ship, oops, my bad, another ship in front of the Orion development. I don't care, because I want this a little bit more. <laughs> That's my opinion as so what an, Orion, an Orion owner. Um, anyway, this thing looks absolutely wild. I need to know your thoughts, guys, but this is right up my street. I feel like this ship could be your only ship. And what I mean by that is you could definitely, I think, have it for mining. But you could just load up small, fo like, Furies in the back and just, you know, you've got your own defense squadron. And then you've got, you do some mining and then pirates turn up. No, <laughs> Fury attack. This is this is some all gameplay right here, my friends. I'm excited. Anyway, that has been the Arastra. Um, day two. Uh, sorry, we've got two expo halls to check out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. But uh, in the meantime, see you then. Bye bye.